is my pleasure, it is my pleasure and honor to invite you and to welcome you in our devotion today on Monday. I would like us to start with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Dear Lord, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you and bless you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity of uh, sitting under your feet to learn from your word and be inspired for the rest of the day, be inspired by our faith. Lord, we seek you. We seek more of your word. We seek more of your revelation as we think through your word together. This we ask in Christ our Lord. Amen. Yes, I want to thank God for to, uh, this, this morning. He is a faithful God who desires that we be thoroughly equipped, especially this word, through his word as we live our lives. And today, before we, the day, I mean, before we start the day, and as we continue with our devotion, uh, the benefits of uh, thanksgiving is what we are thinking through this week. And so benefits of thanksgiving. When we speak of uh, thanksgiving, and praise, offering thanks and praise to God. In essence, what are we talking about? Anyone who, believer who thinks of thanksgiving and uh, offering praise to God is in essence desiring strengthening of their faith, of their spiritual lives. You see, it is uh, seeking to understand the perspective of God on the issues we face in our lives desiring strengthening of our spiritual lives or selves and also seeking the perspective of God on uh, issues that we face in our lives so that we are speaking about a Christian offering thanksgiving as a Christian who seeks to, re to realize the strengthening of their faith, a Christian who seeks to, to understand the perspective of God with regards to, to, to their lives, life issues uh, that they face. And so thanksgiving and praise, friends, is uh, honoring God with our words. We honor God with our words and uh, we allow our words to agree with what God's word is or what God's word says about him. So we use our words to honor God in agreement with what God's own word speaks about him, about God himself. And so as we do that, we are trying to promote the mercy of God, the compassion of God. We are, by, by telling him uh, that uh, he's done great things, he's, 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 a great, he's, a, he's a good God to us, he's done great with regards to our lives. And so this is able to build us, and so he's speaking about strengthening. It's able to build us, and even those who are with us, they will also bless this Lord. It's also, uh, when we give thanks, those who are around us are also formed, are also strengthened, are also built up and made to understand what is, what we, uh, who God is. And so Psalm chapter 8 and verses 1 and 2, the psalmist writes this, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Thou whose glory above the earth or above the, the heavens is, is chanted. By the mouth of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of thy foes to steal the enemy and the avenger. And uh, the same, on the same note, I would like us to just hear from uh, Matthew chapter 21 and verses 16. Verses 16 of 21 says this, And they said to him, chapter 21, verses 16, And they said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read? Out of the mouth of babes and uh, suckling, thou hast brought perfect praise. 
In other words, what uh, Jesus is trying to affirm, or uh, Jesus is uh, alluding to what the psalmist speaks about. And uh, interesting is that as Jesus quotes this psalm, Psalm, 20, psalm uh, 8, verses 1 and 2, he brings the aspect of uh, praise, and I mean, he equates praise with the strength. And I was talking about uh, when we are out in uh, offering thanksgiving to God, it's also a time of, of desiring strengthening from God. And so Jesus, as he quotes this text, and uh, in, 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 in Matthew chapter 21 and verse 16, he brings the aspect of a bulwark or a solid, solid, strong support. In other words, praise offers us a solid, strong support as we seek to grow our faith, as we seek to understand the perspective of God in our lives. And so the psalmist speaks of this, and Jesus uh, equates this equates praises, equates uh, praises that we offer to, 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 to strength, to strength. And so, a few things that I would like us to, to mention, even as we think through the benefits, the benefits of, of offering thanks to God. How does uh, giving thanks affect our lives? How does giving thanks uh, affect you and myself as a believer? Because, uh, when we offer thanks, friends, this that is able to strengthen us, this that is able to accord us, allow us to understand the perspective of God, because we are offering thanks, we would want to be strengthened in our spiritual selves. We would like to, to, to understand the perspective of God. In, in essence, offering thanks affects our lives by bringing God on the scene. He brings God in the scene of our lives, our existence. I like what the psalmist says in Psalm 22. Psalm 22 and verses 3. 22 verses 3 says this. Yet thou art holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. That God, in other words, the psalmist says that God inhabits praises of his people, Israel, is enthroned in the praises of, of, of Israel, his people. In other words, when we get into the mood and we offer God thanksgiving in praise, we invite the glory of God, we invite the presence, his glory and presence, to fill our lives and situation. You know, God, in essence, inhabits our lives, inhabits our situations. It is, uh, it, when we are doing that, it is a time of, uh, th it is in time of thanking God and praising Him that God's glory fills the whole of our worship space, fills the whole of a believer's life. The presence of God overshadows a believer as they offer thanks to Him, as they offer praises to their God such that the presence of God is there with them. I was just thinking about this. You know, as we emerge in uh, praise, as we emerge in, uh, in uh, offering uh, thanksgiving to God, and uh, in, uh, in return, God allows His presence to indwell our space, to indwell our lives, you know. Imagine in being indwelt by the presence of God. What else would we, would we lack? And so, friends, when we do thanks and we offer thanks to God, when we be people of uh, praise to Him, offering praise to Him, one thing that should uh, be clear to us is that God will bring, I mean, uh, God bring on, uh, the, the presence of God is brought into, 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 into perspective. He comes on the scene. He is uh, present now. We can experience his presence and enjoy the, to, to bask in his glory. And so, number two, how, do, how does uh, thanksgiving affect the life of a believer? Thanksgiving and praise to God puts uh, life challenges in perspective. Because life is full of challenges. Circumstances come and go. And uh, as we offer thanks and praise to God, one important thing that we need to always know, that those praises 
that thankful heart, sincere heart that we offer to God, in essence, puts life challenges into perspective. The, 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 the writer of Psalm, chapter 8 and verses 1, says this, O Lord, our God, how majestic is thy name in all the earth, Thou whose glory above the heavens is chanted, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Thou whose glory above the heavens is enchanted. Offering thanks reminds us of how powerful God is. Because God is the creator, reminds us of his power, his majestic power. You know, he is a powerful God. He is the creator of heaven and earth. And so as we offer thanks, we are reminded of this. So notwithstanding the challenge that would be, you know, you are reminded of who God is. Now, what will that challenge be if uh, you come out of, of uh, thinking around, the, I mean, being entangled in those challenging times that we may find ourselves, and you send your mind into thanking God? The, the author of Psalm chapter 8, verses 1, says that, O oh Lord, our God, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Thou whose glory above the heavens is, is chanted, is chanted in praise. You know, you have uh, come out of the challenging times and you have decided to, to, to just be thankful to God and offer him praise. So God is our creator. He is the creator of heaven and earth. Nothing can pass before him unnoticed. We know all the characteristics of God, the qualities of God. Nothing can, he is everywhere. He understands everything. There is nothing that can pass before him unnoticed. There is, I mean, therefore he is with, with us. He is always with us. And, and, and if he is with us, such a powerful God, then how would you lose? Even in that challenging times, then we need to be encouraged always to just offer praises to him. Because as we do that, we know we have a powerful God by our side. And so we can't be, there's nothing that can, can win against us. Yes, that means that uh, God, God, who has promised, even as we read in Matthew chapter 8 and, 20, and, and verses 20, is a God who says and promises that he will be with us to the end of age. So we are talking of a powerful God who is able to, to come through for us in our challenges because our challenges or circumstances, our situations, don't determine who God is. He's a good God. He's a faithful God, steadfast, full of, full of uh, I mean, God who offers us that steadfast love. He's a, God, a loving God, and that is who he is. And so as we offer him praises, God puts life challenges, I mean, life challenges that come in our way in this life are put into perspective. And so we realize how mighty, how majestic our God is. And by extension, we are able to come or emerge strong. We are able to be strengthened by him. May God help us put life challenges in, in perspective as we offer thanks, as we offer thanks and praise. May God come into our scene. May his presence and glory be experienced in our lives as, as we offer thanks and praise. Friends, I want to believe that uh, this good God is with us and giving us a good time as we continue thinking through praising him, as we continue thinking about thanksgiving. May God bless your day. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you this morning. Yes, you come into the scene when uh, praises are lifted to you. And when you come in your presence and glory, yes, we experience that. And Father Lord, you are also reminding us that as we worship you, as we give you adoration, that life challenges are put into perspective and how majestic you are, how powerful you are. Lord, teach us to rely upon you. Teach us to lift praises to you. Teach us, Lord, to thank you that, Lord, challenges that we may find ourselves would be put into perspective. And, Lord, be weighed and realize that, yes, Lord, we serve a God who is all-powerful, God who will come through for us whenever we lift our voices in praise, whenever we lift our voices in thanksgiving. Come through for us now, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen.
Thank you.